What's going on, everyone? Cameron Blazer here, and welcome to my week three game replay post comp thing. Anyway, um, I, as you can see, the screen's a bunch smaller, and that's because I don't want the chat to be shown on this. There's a lot of things said in the chat that I don't want on my channel. Nothing I said, but what other people said because of this match. And it's just, I don't want that on the channel, to be honest. It's just a lot of rude stuff. Anyway, we're just going to get into the post comp. So I lead with my Tangrowth, she leads with her Terrakion. So I go straight for her Sleep Powder. She First she goes for Poison Jab, gets a 10% Poison. I miss a 75% Poison Jab, an accurate move. I already can tell this match is going to be hilarious. So yeah. She switches out. I'd go for Leech Seed, trying to get more health back. And she goes into this thing. I did not know, think she would bring this thing. I did prepare for it, but... It's whatever. Uh, I go for a Iron Head, predicting the Regirock, to be honest. And it didn't work. So I go right out into Tangrowth. I know I can live an Ice Punch. And that's what she goes for. She gets a 63%. It's 63%. I go for a Sleep Powder and miss it. It's just not my battle, I guess. Um, knocks me out with Ice Punch. And so I go out into Gengar, and I go for Energy Ball, because I know I can kill it. It's Scarf Gengar. It's the best thing ever. I go out into Visachi. I can predict the. I know she's. Gonna, I know I can live any hit, even modest. And she goes for Thunderbolt, and it does a good amount. But I go for Play Rough. Oh, just jeez! I just realized my mouse was still in the middle of the screen. I'm sorry if that annoyed you. Anyway, I go for Play Rough. Does over half. Gengar can finally come in, click in Dazzling Gleam, and knock this thing out. And she goes down to Erica. I switch out into my Bird Jesus Mega Pidgeot, and she lands another Stun Spore. So 0 and 2 on my spores and. 2-0 on hers. Go for workup. I didn't expect Regirock to come in because I thought, I don't know, I didn't know what I was thinking. She goes for Stone Edge. It literally does nothing. So I just start setting up my Calm Mines. And she goes for a Rock Polish. She has to switch because her moves aren't going to do much. Uh, she goes on the Mew. I set up another Calm Mind. And I go for... she. I, I was predicting that, so I went for Scald. It does not a lot. But she does get a Sacred Noise Born. And so, yeah, we're both burned. I can only click Scald. And she starts to click Soft Boiled. I don't know if she's trying to stall me out or not. Because I'm doing more than... I'm not doing more than she is. And I'm just I'm just getting back more health. So I would win this battle, I think. She goes for Knock Off. Knocks off my Leftovers. I just keep clicking Scald. I do get a crit. But here's my thinking. Since my Taut ends this turn... She probably would have gone for Taunt again, and if she didn't, then I could have set up more Calm Mines. So I don't know if that mattered. I just click clicking. I click Resk so I can live a hit, and I start clicking call Sleep Talks, and I get Calm Mind after Calm Mind after Calm Mind. And this is when I don't want the chat in my video, because some, a lot of the stuff that you that's said in here just really just kills my vibes, and I don't like watching it. She goes for Stun Spore. It fails because it's sleep. So I just keep getting... I don't know why I keep getting freaking Calm Minds when I go for Sleep Talk. So I keep clicking it, and I get Scalded. It does 30%. I do get a burn. But it's just a burn on a special attacker. And I wake up, I go for Scald to get some damage off, because I think, oh, after, I didn't realize she had Synthesis. So after this, I go for another, I, um, go for another Calm Mind, get the plus four. I'm in a great spot, I'm thinking I'm going to win this. She goes for Stun Spore and lands another one. And she goes for Energy Ball, and of course, as you can see, I lost. There's nothing I can do after that. And, uh, so yeah. It just really like killed me, this battle. Just like one after another, everything went down, and then everyone was just being rude in the chat. And it's whatever though. I mean, I would still almost brought it back. I felt like if my Lucario was adamant life orb, I could have done better, but I wasn't adamant. Stone Edge connects, knocks me out. I go out into Lucar. I go. I have to save Lucario because the Vio Plume is low enough where E Speed will kill. But I was thinking I have to get a crit. Maybe luck will be on my side. But of course it wouldn't be on my side. Stone Edge knocked me off. And Helen picks up her first win as a 2-0. 
Guys, go check her out. Uh, her Twitter will be in the description, and if you missed my last video talking about where week one and two are, I will also put the replays in the description. This is the last video. I'll do that. Um, but yeah, 0 and 3. It's whatever. I will definitely try to not go 0 and 4. I don't know. Just right now, I'm just thinking about it. Like, I could be 2 and 1 right now. I've been hacked out of two battles. But... It's just, it's whatever, you know. I'm here to just have fun, and when just some people be rude, it's just, it ruins the game. Not, it's not Helen. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not Helen. Helen was a great sport about it. She was upset. We talked a little bit afterwards. And, yeah, she did great. Uh, she has a really good team. Like I said, go check her out on Twitter. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button. Uh, leave a comment down below. Answer the common question of the day. Which is, what do you want me to run in week four against Biddle? And my will have a team prep up soon about on that. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!